Hi everybody, this is John, the Head of Global Business Development here at TileLook.com and today we're going to be going over how to create a VR rendering of your project. Okay, so we'll jump right in. Um, as you can see here, this is a project that we've already completed and we're ready to continue on to rendering an image of the project. Okay, so first thing I should point out, if you want to render a VR image, is you must render the image from a camera angle of being in the center of the room. A common mistake that some users make is that they'll render the image from outside the room or in the from the corner of the room uh, or for example let me show you like this you know outside the room where they might hit render and, and all of a sudden they go to open it up and view the image in VR and they're looking at a box like this and when they turn their heads to the left they end up seeing something like this they see that or they turn their heads to the right they see this or if they look up they see that and if they look down they see this so it's important you're in the center of the room okay so when you turn your head around and you have you know your device your VR device uh, with this uh, project being viewed through it that you could be able to look around like this and really be immersed in the true VR uh, experience of your project okay um, so what we're gonna do now is just find a good angle like I said in the center of the room maybe something like this Maybe move over a little bit so we can see that. Yeah, maybe something like this is good. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go down to camera settings here and we're going to name this VR camera. Okay, and then for camera type, this is important. You could select panorama or stereographic panorama. Panorama is just the normal 360 view, stereographic panorama is for VR. Okay, this is an important distinction. You know, you select this if you want to see the room in true full VR. So we're going to select that. And then another important thing to note, uh, to mention is image size. We're going to select 4K. This is very important. You could select the other ones, but it won't come out looking very well, you know, in VR. So you need to select a high resolution for this one. So 4K, and then you hit apply okay and then we hit render and here you select the render quality very low high extreme we'll just keep it on high sun intensity we're gonna keep that at 30 percent we're gonna keep most of the stuff default for now vr camera is selected we hit apply and away it goes Okay, everybody, as you see here, this is the fully rendered VR image. You look around here, yeah, you see it's divided between the left and the right for each eye. So if you open this up in your VR headset, you get the a true VR experience. And it's a great tool to have in your showroom, you know, and being able to have your uh, would-be customers get fully immersed in your project and really be able to see what your products would look like after they're installed. So if you make a you know a, a room in their house and you put your products in, and then you render a VR image, it's really going to help your customer out, get an idea and sense what your products would look like in their home. Okay, so this, this is it. Very simple, very easy to render, and that's it. So like always, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to email me or call me anytime, and I'll get back to you. Okay, thank you.